channel tech and art hope you guys doing good safe and sound so today we are going to discuss about one of the sql server upgrade error so when we are up doing the sql server upgrade any patch upgrade anything any security patch upgrade in that uh, you know during that page uh, we are in a situation to you know post upgrade we are not able to start the sql server engine so in this video we are going to describe uh, one of the error which we are facing okay so before starting the session i would request each and every one who are newly joined channel please like do subscribe and don't forget to share please visit the channel playlist sql server dba so let me start the you know today's session so i have created one documents so this is one of the error uh, during the upgrade sql server upgrade we are uh, you know uh, encounter this is error so this is like you know modify uh, file failed uh, error code is 5041 so basically sql agent uh, one Double zero MSTB upgrade dot SQL like that. You can see in my screen uh, the error will be exactly the same, and your SQL Server upgrade will be terminated by uh, by throwing this error. Right, uh, the restore master from the full backup repair uh, from the full backup repair it or rebuild it. For more information, please check this link and so on. So. Uh, we are going to figure out why this error you know yeah, is throwing actually the after the upgrade and why we are not able to you know sql server restart so we'll talk about more about the work around how to fix that error so this is one of the error uh, you know uh, uh, during the you know post upgrade we are facing and not able to restart the sql server so work around is like whenever you uh, you know encounter in a such situation post any upgrade any sql server apply patch or any security update so if you are not able to start the sql server use the trace flag 902 to restart the sql okay so first thing is for any kind of uh, you know upgrade error post upgrade if you are not able to restart the sql you can restart by using the 902 trace okay so it will what 902 will do it will bypass the upgrade and uh, it will take the sql up okay so how you, you can do you can go to the control panel uh, or sorry uh, configuration manager and you can put the trace flag 902 and you can through the command prompt uh, by net start ms sql server t902 for name instance you can use the instance name as soon as you start the sql server you know uh, so uh, you need to check uh, the what uh, what is the things happen so in this situation in this error uh, this error uh, 5041 modify file fail, uh, file uh, failed uh, it is causing the msdb database okay so you need to figure out what basically causing the msdb database so basically what happening right uh, sql server unable to modify the system database file so for this msdb you can check here uh, with this command it will give you the you know the file location and all everything and then you have to uh, file the alter command with the new uh, new name okay so basically what it will uh, sql server after upgrade it is not able to modify the file name and due to that reason it's throwing the error so as soon as you alter the you know msdb and then you can Uh, stop the sql and now you remove the trace flag and then you will start okay so 100% it will start the sql and it will fix the error okay so this is the one of the error you can uh, figure out uh, and you can fix the through the 902 uh, trace file by enabling the 902 so i am requesting to you guys whatever the you guys encountered uh, you know during the upgrade sql server applying patch or whatever uh, uh, so you can uh, do a comment what type of error you got it okay this is one of the error and 902 you can utilize for any kind of error to start the sql so it's a small trick but uh, it's very useful so you can utilize that well uh, that's it for today we'll meet soon in the next video till then bye bye thank you and keep watching.